Hey, this is Zach with Web3 Reviews. Thank you for being with us. Today, we're going to be talking about testing flare assets. Let's go. Before we get started, remember that none of this is financial advice. So what are F assets? F assets are a type of token on the flare network designed to bring non-smart contract tokens into the flare ecosystem. There's going to be four tokens to start. And for the test purpose, there's only one XRP. What you do is you take your XRP and you convert it into Flare XRP, F asset. So whatever your asset is at the start, whether it's Litecoin, Doge, Bitcoin, or XRP, one of the first four they allow, you convert it into the F version of that asset, creating a Flare asset. Why would somebody convert their Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, or XRP into an F asset? Well, the F version of that token is equal to the price of the original token 100% of the time. So if XRP dips to you know, 49 cents, F XRP is worth 49 cents. You can convert your F asset back to the original asset at any time. On Songbird, Songbird and Flare, there's two different networks on the Flare networks. And before anything makes it to Flare, it has to go through the test net. So currently as this is testing, we are testing on the Songbird network. Songbird network has rewards paid once every seven days. Flare has two reward periods once every 3.5 days. So during a week, you will get two payments for Flare Network and for Songbird, you'll get one. If you are staking your asset, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Doge, or XRP as an F asset, you will be earning rewards in that asset. This is a way to put your money to work for you. If you owned a ton of Bitcoin, Litecoin, Doge, or XRP, and it's just sitting there in your wallet, doing nothing, collecting dust, this is a way you could put it to work and make money. It is extremely bullish and it is in a decentralized manner. For years, people have been trying using Celsius, Nexo, BlockFi, Bitrue, Piggy Bank, whoever will give them APY. And no more do we have to trust a centralized exchange or business to do this for us. We can just go straight to Flare. And this isn't quite live yet. Right now we're doing testing. So in order to do this, you don't have to put any real money up. Flare Network will give you test funds to take part. Why would anybody do this? For those that test, you will receive an airdrop after the fact. So you test in order to get an airdrop. And airdrops mostly have been worthless. But the Flare airdrop wasn't. The Bitcoin Classic airdrop wasn't. If you can take part in an airdrop that's worth something, it may be really worth your time. And here I am playing with Test FXRP to get an airdrop from the Flare Network in the future. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this and it's super easy. First, you're going to need the Bifrost app on your phone. It doesn't matter whether you have Android or iPhone. Get in there and download BI Frost. Once you're in the Bifrost app, simply go to settings, go to advanced, and press developer mode enabled. Now, if you already have assets in the app, it'll show your assets are at zero because this will only show test assets. Once you turn off developer mode, your assets will reappear. So don't worry. So we are going to follow the link on the screen, which I will also have in the description below. And this will take us to Flare's website. Once on Flare's website, go to the upper right and press connect wallet and then press confirm on your Bifrost. We will see that we have a Flare address as well as an XRP address. We see the link that says get your test XRP here. So we're going to copy and paste our XRP address and we're going to take it to the link for get your test XRP. We paste our address in there on BitHop. We press I promise to write some nice code with this and we press send me XRP. We'll see that the XRP is populated once we refresh our balance on the Flare website. Then we take our Flare address and we take it to the next link for get your C Flare. And this can only be done once every 24 hours. The XRP one can be done infinitely and the Flare one can be done once every 24 hours. Once this is done, we have ourselves some C Flare and some test XRP. We're gonna mint our F test XRP. It's going to ask how many lots we want to use. So each lot is equal to 20 F test XRP. Go ahead and press next. And this takes a little while. Now, if you're on the computer, you have to confirm this on the, Bif the Bifrost app. And if you're on the Bifrost app browser, you just confirm it right there in the app. It's a little bit simpler if you're on the phone app itself. Once you have confirmed these messages, you wait until it says success. So this takes a little while. I just like to keep the screen open. You get to step four, success. Go ahead and refresh your page, and you are now staking your XRP. You have now taken part in the F-Test XRP. Now there's no risk involved in doing this. You don't have to put up any funds of your own. 
but there is something really important to keep in mind when you're taking part in testing or in crypto in general. When you sign up for Bifrost Wallet, it gives you a 12 word private key. This is your bank password. Nobody will ever ask you for this unless they're a scammer. And if anybody does ask you for this and you give it to them, they can take all your real life funds that are attached to that wall. And this unfortunately happened to somebody. Somebody followed along to a fake Dan Rocky account. Dan Rocky is a great member of the Flare community and a scammer created an account on Twitter that looked just like them. And they sent a link to a guide on how to do this exact thing. In the guide, it said to enter your 12 word private key. The person did this and they lost all their funds instantly. So crypto rules on Twitter. If an account follows you and it says they're not followed by anybody you follow, that's a big red flag. I would go follow some people that I have on the screen now, just so they're on your Twitter. And if you get followed by a scam account and it says they're not followed by these accounts, you can rest assured that it's just a scam. Testing F assets is live. It's important to test because when F assets go live, you won't have any learning curve. You'll already know how to do it. Thank you all for being with us. Zach from Web3 Reviews. We will be covering this more in the future. Until next time.